is not too sunny and hot, so it's actually just right. It's very comfortable, wouldn't you say? Yes, and thank you and welcome to the 28th annual Honolulu Festival Grand Parade. Mahalo for coming. Wow, Tomoko, you're great. <laughs> this is my guest MC Tomoko. And uh, Tomoko, where are you from? I'm from Tokyo. Tokyo. Tokyo, Japan. I was born and raised, and then I live in Haleiwa right now. Wow. Haleiwa. Mm -hmm. Do we have anyone of our audience here from the North Shore visiting us? Anyone? North Shore? North Shore, Shore Kara Kita, do you So that's the big, <laughs> that's the big, too big, far. Yeah, big waves <laughs> pipeline. Do you serve Tomoko? Yes, but only, you know, the small wave. <laughs> small being relative, I'm sure. <laughs> that's great, that's great. So uh, what do you do for what do you do for work, Tomoko? Okay, um, I'm currently working the Japanese radio station, KZ00 1210 AM. Wow, you got the voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tomoko Matsumoto. Tonight's a Japanese MC. Yoroshiku Let's give her a big hand. Tonight's Japanese MC. She's going to be translating all the crazy things and facts and everything that I'm going to be throwing at you. So thank you so much. And George, what about you? How long did you MC over here? Oh gosh, this is probably my eighth or ninth time I've been lucky to do this. Yeah, so I, I also uh, work in the film and video industry here in Hawaii. I work on Japanese TV commercials mostly. I'm, I'm kind of bilingual. I can understand more than I can speak it. And I'm actually fourth generation Japanese American. Yeah, yeah, on my mother's side, my maternal great grandparents are from Hiroshima and Yokohama. And uh, yeah, my dad's side is from the mainland. But uh, yeah, my mom and dad are sitting right across from me right here. <laughs> with, with my mom's guide dog, buddy. And my beautiful wife is somewhere. She's also from the west side of Oahu. So I was born and raised here in Honolulu. Yeah, but, yeah I'm kind of nervous, you know, that this is the second time for me. Oh, really? Oh, you're fine. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so we have no one from the North Shore, but uh, how about locals? Do we have any local people here? Island yeah. people. Come on, Aina. Awesome. Aloha. Wow. You, you actually braved the traffic to get into Waikiki. <laughs> wow. So, do we have any uh, friends from Japan? They're very shy and quiet. Okay. <laughs> Japanese people are so shy. Aloha. Aloha. Do we have uh, any friends and visitors from the east coast of the mainland U.S.? East coast. East coast of the Oh, oh yeah, you came to warm yourselves up over here. How about uh, even cooler climate? Canada. Anyone from Canada? Canada. All right. Canadians. Aloha. How about west coast? West coast? Yeah. Awesome. California? Yeah. Awesome. How about Oregon? Oh. Well, there's a marching band from Hillsboro, Oregon. Oh, yes. Yeah, coming That's all right. Here. Any excuse to come to Hawaii, right? <laughs> <laughs> How about anyone from the Midwest? <laughs> wow. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. That's awesome. How about from the Great Lakes area of the Midwest? Yeah. Wow. That's great. Well, hopefully you all get to enjoy a bit more sunny weather. Today is going to be ending the, the windy part of our week, and tomorrow is expected to be sunnier. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry. We're not going to be talking for the next 20 minutes, but we might before they start. And uh, we have to start right on time here. In about uh, 20 minutes is when the parade is going to start. So, uh, I don't know, to pass the time, I kind of wrote up some fun facts about Hawaii, if you're interested. Uh, today, actually, today is, uh, it's very timely. Did you know that Hawaii has its own time zone? It's called Hawaiian Standard Time. Hawaii Yeah, and we don't turn our clocks for anyone. 
it just stays the same. We, we don't have to wake up and change our clocks, but we all have to be mindful of uh, the West Coast is no longer two hours ahead of us, they're now three hours ahead. Three hours, yeah. 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 yeah, and then uh, New York is now uh, six hours ahead, not six five. Six hours. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 You know that what time is Japan now? Uh, Japan is 19 hours ahead, correct? Yeah, that's right. Wow. So, so today is, uh, um, it's now is March 11, the Monday, Monday oh. about, you know, the 11 o'clock. Yeah, yes. awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, did you know that Hawaii State is composed of mainly eight islands? Okay. But did you know that there are approximately 140 volcanic islands, islands and shoals in our Hawaiian archipelago? archipelago. Yeah. And um, the, the furthest most northern western island of our Hawaiian chain is likely is obviously the oldest and they're basically shoals. There were once mighty islands just like this, but over time they just got pushed towards the you know Pacific Plate, towards Japan. So we're inching our way closer to Japan every year, huh? <laughs> so Molokai was once the home of the world's largest pineapple plantation. So Molokai is our, our sister island. Anyone here from Molokai? モロカイからお越しになっている方というのはいらっしゃるんでしょうかね。あ、そう。ね、モロカイ島はかつてパイナップル農場として栄えていた場所で、一番大きいパイナップル農場があったんですね、ジョージさん。あったんですね。はい。
Well, if they can't be here, I'm sure they're going to join us in spirit. Uh, my grandmother, she recently passed away, though, last month, and uh, she lived to a ripe old age of 106. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, rest her soul, rest her soul. So, yeah, she, she had a brilliant life, and uh, right to the very end, she was co cognizant and very genki, very um, full of life, actually. In, in fact, Hawaii has the longest life expectancy in all of the United States. One of the most cool facts about Hawaii is that people live longer in Hawaii than they do in any other state. As of 2020, the average life expectancy here was 81.15 years. Hawaii was a Georgia country, and it was known that in the U.S. it was the highest average life expectancy in the United States. Oh yeah, uh, so California and New York round up the next couple of states with like 80 years old. So that's pretty good too. It must be the Aloha spirit. はい、80歳ということで続いていますけれどもね、そうですね、きっとアロハスピリットが長生きさせるコツなのかもしれませんね。That's right. That's right. Okay, gang, you're, uh, for those of you just joining us, you're going to witness the grand parade of the 28th annual Honolulu Festival that kicked off a couple of days ago and culminates right here at this parade. Do we have anybody here that went to the convention center, the Hawaii Convention Center, to see all the crafts and food booths and all that? How'd you like it? Love all it. Right. Awesome. Yeah, so be sure to be back here next year again. This Honolulu Festival happens all the time, uh, uh, every March. はい、え、ホノルルフェスティバルね、え、金曜日からの開催となっておりますけれども、コンベンションセンターでも様々な催し、パフォーマンスが行われてきました。皆さん行かれましたか楽しんでこられましたかはい、よかったです。え、そして
今日は日本語でもご紹介させていただきます。国家聖書ハワイ集歌を歌ってくださるのはエミー・サムソンさんです。エミーさん、十七歳の高校生でミス・ティーン・エイジアハワイ二千二十二の会を持ち。昨年はミス・カハラズ・アウトスタンディング・ティン2023として活躍していらっしゃいます彼女は学生時代チアリーディングのチームでチームキャプテンを務めた経験もあるんですねそして現在はアメリカ団協会オールド・トゲザーの全米有志アンバサダーを務めるなど多くのコミュニティサービスにも参加しています Welcome エミス・サンクソン Let's give her a big hand She's going to be gracing us with today's national anthem and our state anthem, Hawaii Pono E, shortly. Aloha, and uh, welcome to the 28th annual 
the Honolulu Festival Grand Parade. Yeah. Aloha. We've got uh, starting our parade, we have the Honolulu Police Department. It is befitting this evening that we commence a parade with the finest of our brave men and women, the Motor Brigade of the Honolulu Police Department. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the color guard representing the armed forces throughout Hawaii, Indo PACCOMS, United States Indo Pacific Command Joint Service Color Guard Team. Let's give them a big round of applause, everyone. Color guard. And I would like to introduce to you the Grand Marshal, Mayor of Honolulu, after a distinguished and award winning 43 year career as a media executive. Oh, he started, what, 13 years old? Amazing. Our next participant has now redirected his life's focus towards public service. As the esteemed 15th mayor of the city and county of Honolulu, the Honorable Rick Blangiardi proudly represents not only the city, but also more than 10,000 devoted employees tirelessly working towards the betterment of our island home. それでは皆さんにホノルル市長に久ブランジアディ市長がご紹介いたします継続放送でもね毎週出てきていただいておりますけれども輝かしい数々の賞を受けましたメディアのエグゼクティブとして43年に及ぶキャリアの後現在の
facts, fun facts of Honolulu. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, they have a sister city in Japan, uh, Hiroshima. We're just getting ready to uh, get the go ahead signal. Thank you everyone for joining us. You're enjoying the 28th annual Honolulu Festival Grand Parade. Three days of fun and activities culminate right here in Waikiki at this parade. But please do stick around Waikiki at 8.30. You're gonna have a beautiful, amazing, not to be missed fireworks show uh, fronting Waikiki Beach from our friends from Nagaoka City, Japan. It's gonna be spectacular. And let the parade begin! Marvelous Honolulu Police Department, followed by the Color Guard of the Indo PACCOM's Pacific Command Joint Service Color Guard Team, followed by our Marshal Parade, <coughs> our amazing Mayor Rick Blangiardi. Let's give a wave. Rick, aloha, thank you. And, and the Royal Hawaiian Band. Started in 1836. Can you imagine that, everybody? Let's give them a big hand. Okay, you all look so young. 1836. <laughs> Princess and Miss Popularity joins Samantha Maruoto, Emily Johnson, Princess and Miss Congeniality, Jennifer Umura, and Princess Amber Donamine, and the 71st Queen and Court Advisor, Tia Maeda. We have the 70, 72nd Cherry Blossom Festival 
Queen Contestants. Yes, that's right. And the second bus, but you're not, you're also very important, so <laughs> mahalo <laughs> for joining us yeah, today. Eight cars, <laughs> Rachel, Troy, Liv, yeah. Kelly, Shelly, Karen, Goodness. Sydney, Megas. <laughs> okay, remember we told you about the Nagaoka Fireworks tonight at 8.30 in Waikiki. It's heavily attended. People come up from all over the island to come into Waikiki to descend upon the beaches there. Uh, they come from Nagaoka City, the sister city of Honolulu. Nagaoka and Honolulu have been fostering exchanges with a theme of peace for 12 years now. Together with the citizens of Nagaoka, we have come again to the Honolulu Festival this year. Tonight, starting at 8.30 p.m., we will launch the annual Nagaoka fireworks off the coast of Waikiki Beach, sending our wish for everlasting peace to the world. ホノルルシと長岡市のフェスティバルへやってまいりました。長岡市民とともにホノルルフェスティバルへやってまいりました。そして本日午後 do we have anybody here that saw their amazing fireworks display last year, Honolulu Festival? Right? Wasn't it amazing? They have three barges off of Waikiki, three barges about a mile across. And I'm, I'm not kidding you, it's going to be spectacular. Uh, you have not seen a fireworks display quite like the Nagaoka fireworks display. It is absolutely entrancing. It's just, it's just phenomenal. The Miss Kona Coffee Organization is an official local competition for the Miss Hawaii and Miss America organizations. Delegates compete for scholarships and an opportunity to participate in the Miss Hawaii competition. Our competition is a signature event of the Kona Coffee Cultural Festival held each November. We have in the first car, Miss Kona Coffee 2024, Taisha Dennis McWright. Let's give her a hand. And in the second car, Miss Aloha Hawaii 2024, Matea Young. And we have Miss Kona Coffee Team 2024 in the third car, Zoe Gakaya. We want to thank the Miss Kona Coffee Organization with Ali Brown, Executive Director, Samantha Collins, Associate Director. Mahalo. Who loves a good cup of joe? Some good coffee here? You coffee lovers? Make sure that you try a beautiful brewed cup of Kona coffee. It can only be found from the island of Hawaii, the big island, Kona Town. Zokon Machida 98 with NX, NSK. 
We are performing the Yosakoi Naruko Odori. What are Naruko? Is that what they have in their hand, Tomoko? Is that Naruko? Yeah, that's the yeah. Ah, you know, I heard the Naruko was basic. It's a, it's an instrument. But back in the day, farmers used it to chase away birds from their rice fields. Correct? Did you really? know that? Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> I've been told that. Makes sense. <laughs> They originated this dance in Kochi Prefecture, Japan. We have entered to introduce the Yosakoi Naruko Odori to everyone in Hawaii, they say. We will be performing with four teams, Zokon Machida 98, Narutaka, Shichifuku, Yosakoi Ren, and Kizuna International Team. Please enjoy the performance. <laughs> Starting out with Sarah Liu. Sarah was born in Honolulu and is a daughter of Wilson and Linda Liu. She is a graduate of McKinley High School and the University of Hawaii at Manoa, where she received her bachelor's degree in English. Sarah is a wedding and events coordinator at SL Weddings and enjoys baking Chinese desserts, traveling and volunteering. That's great. In the following Corvette, we have the 2024 Miss Hawaii Chinese, Amelie Tan. Amelie was born in Honolulu and is a daughter of Anna and Alan Tan. She's a graduate of Sacred Hearts Academy and the University of Hawaii at Manoa, where she received her bachelor's degree in biology and a minor in medical anthropology. Amelie is a medical assistant at Kahala Pediatrics and enjoys culinary adventures, fashion, and volunteering with local houseless populations. <laughs> Emily Tan. Next up in the third Corvette, it's cool. Check, check out the license plate. Great white. I love it. Wow. 2024, <laughs> Miss Hawaii Chinese First Princess, Connie Huang. Connie was born in Honolulu and is a daughter of Yi Hua Min and Min Huang. She's a graduate of Damon High School. Hey, that's my alma mater. <laughs> and the University of Hawaii at Manoa, where she received her bachelor's degree in biology. 
Connie is a clinical research assistant at East West Medical Research Institute and enjoys painting, writing, and giving herself gel manicures. Awesome. Miss 2024 Miss Hawaii Chinese Princess Ellie Fang. Ellie was born in Abington, Pennsylvania and is a daughter of Diane and Andrew Fang. She is a graduate of Punahou School and Santa Clara University where she received her bachelor's degree in neuroscience and a minor in creative writing. Ellie is an executive assistant at Ann Nama Designs and enjoys drawing, upcycling, and making jewelry. Excellent. Well, check this out. Yes, the Chinese population is very uh, significant here in Hawaii. We have our own Chinatown in downtown Honolulu. If any of you get a chance, please feel free to leave Waikiki and explore the rest of the island, starting with Chinatown in downtown Honolulu, where you have all kinds of Chinese restaurants and baked goods and treats that you can't find anywhere else, I'm sure. I like dim sum. In the yellow Corvette, we have the fourth Princess Jasmine Chow. Jasmine Chow was born in Honolulu and is a graduate of the University of California. Jasmine is employed at the University of Hawaii Cancer Center as a clinical research associate. Her goal is to become a doctor so that she can help advance cancer research and serve our melting pot of a community here. Yes, that's right. This year is the Year of the Dragon. Who was born Year of the Dragon? Anyone here? Year of the Dragon. Ah. Third Princess Bo Glover. Bo, Bo Glover was born in China and attends the University of Hawaii at Manoa, majoring in marine biology. She's a volunteer in the Waikiki Aquarium and works on coral reef restoration projects throughout Oahu. Her goal is to work for the National Ocean. Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in Hawaii as a marine biologist. Princess Lavina Abdi. Uh, Lavina, Lavina was born in Indonesia and is a graduate of the University of Wisconsin Madison and the University of Southern California, where she got her master's degree in stem cells and regenerative medicine. Lavina is employed at Johnny Burns School of Medicine as a graduate researcher. Aloha. <laughs> Okay, and I've been told that the young lady in the white Corvette is indeed Bo Glover. They did have this switch, switch ruse on us. So, Bo Glover was born in China and attends the University of Hawaii at Manoa, majoring in marine biology. She is a volunteer at the Waikiki Aquarium and works on coral reef restoration projects on Oahu. Her goal is to work for the National Ocean, Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in Hawaii as a marine biologist. So, 
私ねご紹介が前後となってしまいましたがプリンセス大サイのボーカルオーバーさん中国生まれの方です現在はマイキー水族館のボランティアをしていらっしゃいます I've been told, correct that? <laughs> Sorry, Yana Xian. Yana was born in China and attended the University of Hawaii at Manoa Shiler College of Business and got her degree in management and human, ser- human resources. Yana is employed, at- employed part time at Hawaiian Airlines Guest Services Department and Coldwell Banker Realty as a real estate agent. Where do you find the time, Yana? 大変失礼いたしましたプリンセス第2位のヤンナ・シアンさんです中国生まれということでね現在はハワイアン航空のゲストサービス部門や不動産エージェントとしても働いていらっしゃいます These beautiful young women and this amazing crowd. I、uh, made another mistake. Oh, Glover, for the third time. <laughs> She is actually in this next coming、uh, Corvette. Goodness. Let's see who is listening. I said two times, What does Bo want to be? A marine biologist. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bo, for taking care of our reefs restoration projects throughout the state. Mahalo. Okay, coming up is fourth Princess Jasmine Chow. Jasmine Chow was born in Honolulu and is a graduate of the University of California. Jasmine is employed at the University of Hawaii Cancer Center as a clinical research associate. Her goal is to become a doctor so that she can help advance cancer research and save our melting pot of community here in Hawaii. ドクターになることであり、がん研究の進展に貢献し、多文化共生ショップやおイエーさんもご紹介させていただきました。Aloha, we are Pua Mani Kobayashi Hula School. ようこそお越しくださいました。Aloha. Pua Mani Kobayashi Hula School の皆さんです。Aloha. They say this is our eighth participation in this parade dancing hula in its birthplace, Hawaii. Is the ultimate stage for us hula girls and it brings us the greatest joy. The people of Hawaii always welcome us warmly and give us lots of applause. Huh? You hear the applause? Yeah, thank you. And it has been mentioned earlier that Hawaii State is a melting pot of the Pacific, definitely, because we have coming up here the Hawaii Taiwanese Center, Team Taiwan, accompanied by three large figures of electric techno neon gods, aka Zan Tai Ji. Is led by the Peony Dance Group and has other 100 participants in this procession. They, they are students and family from Hawaii Taiwan Education and Cultural Organization, Chinese class students from Milinani High School, Taiwanese students from local universities, local community members, and Taipei Economic and Cultures from the they aim to tribe, the largest tribe of all 16 indigenous tribes in Taiwan. Such colorful costumes.
techno neon cause derives from Neza, protection deity in Chinese folk religion or Daozi, as a modern variation after the performance during the Kaohsiung World Games in 2009. The gods will drive away the evils and protect people and promote peace. Sister city of Honolulu, Chigasaki City, located in Kanagawa Prefecture, adjacent to Tokyo, our mayor, Mr. Sato, and Chigasaki's mascot character, Emoshi Moto. Thank <laughs> you. 
か。ということで、ミナダンサーにとっての憧れの舞台、ハワイの踊れる舞台の感謝と喜びを胸に、見てくださる皆様に笑顔と勇気を届けてくれます。
I saw them everywhere. <laughs> Aloha. Oh, what year nice is your car? Start. 65. Volkswagen in their possession. No? So this is quite a treat, huh? What year is your red, red car? 67.
others twirled the matoi. Okay, so the matoi is a traditional matoi consists of a body called a toba made of wood or grass and body, hanging strips of leather or paper. The toba sits on a wooden stand with a metal body that weighs about 45 pounds. Risho Kosekai uses the matoi during parades because he
Of Sophia University Cheer Dancing Club. Let's give a big aloha. Justy. Sophia University Cheer Dance Club activity Justy no mina san des. They have a total of 38 members consisting of freshmen and sophomores, and we're delighted to have 12 of our members participating in this festival this year. It is truly an honor for us to be able to participate in the festival again. We will do our best to deliver smiles, energy to everyone who comes to watch our performance. <laughs> From Hiroshima, all the way from Hiroshima, we make our debut. Hiroshima Shining Woman is we are dedicated to the theme empowering women in Hiroshima Prefecture in our daily activities. We served as a bridge of friendship between sister cities, Honolulu, Hawaii, and Hiroshima City, while promoting the peace and women's empowerment throughout Hiroshima. さあ、続きましては広島からの登場初登場の皆さんです。広島 right. yep. National Women's Day was uh, World International Women's Day was yesterday, right? Yes. Yeah. Next up we have Nishi Monai Bone Dance Group, Sir, said to have originated about 700 years ago. This dance originated in the snow countries of northeastern Japan. It is a mysterious, bewitching, and probably one of the most difficult bone dances in Japan. In recognition of its history and the dignity of its dance, it was registered as a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage last year. Let's give them a big round of applause. I think they're going to dance for us. They're queuing up the music there. <coughs> So the northern part of Honshu, just below Hokkaido, correct? Yeah. Very cold part of the part of the country, I'm sure. さあ、この踊りなんですが、日本の東北部にある雪国で生まれたものということで、とても悠遠であり、妖艶で、日本で最も難しい盆踊りの一つということですよ。
So you may have heard I said bone dance. It's not bone as in skeleton bone, but B O N. Bone dance is held every summer throughout the entirety of Japan, where the communities come out and celebrate the returning of the ancestral spirits to their hometown. So they were, they were going to dance a bone dance for you. Um, they were able to cue the music. But let's give them a nice round of a warm welcome, aloha to Nishi Monai Bone Dance Group. Akita City, Japan. TV Hawaii, Novel Salvosa, in the brown and the yellow Corvette, driver Ronnie James, executive producer of Hot Rock TV Hawaii. Let's give them a big round of applause. Mr. Hamada, the ninja, with Miss Aloha Motorsports. Let's give them a big one. Aloha. <laughs> 
嬉しいです皆さん私たちのクラブどうか楽しんでくださいとメッセージをいただいていますハッピーチュービー 
Aborigines from Australia, from the Philippines, and now another region of Japan, Hirosaki, the Neputa, Manjikai. The Hirosaki Neputa Festival is a summer night fire festival, and we parade throughout the city with large lanterns filled with lights. Thank you. 